Cash money, money. Cash money. Whenever you are listening, I ask you to participate in this particular program because I have uh, Henry Tokubak. Uh, you may remember him. He was a former member of the uh, East New Britain Provincial Government. It's uh, uh, talk back on FM 100. Uh, Henry Tokubak uh, talking about the traditional currencies here in Papua New Guinea. So if you have any comments to make, give us a call now. Okay, Henry. The way I see it is that global economy is the only way to go forward. A business community wants that anyway. Oh, why go back? How are we going to go forward with the traditional money? Global economic is just too big and too huge for a simple man to survive with. Right. We just have to create an exchange uh, mechanism that will make big tasks and paper money be able to live together. Mm. Don't forget our traditional currency. We maintain it as long as we create an institution that will regulate it and make sure there is enough for everybody later on. Day in, day out, uh, we are surviving with our traditional economy, and that's based on our traditional currencies, shell money. We, the small people, don't benefit from the global economy. Modern money is like chasing the wind you know just uh, you have five bucks in your hand today and then a few minutes later and then it's gone and so you got to go and look for another five bucks we can buy anything with shell money we can buy goods from the trade store flour oil soap, tobacco, we can even buy land and materials for our houses. We don't need a lot of modern money, China, to have a good quality of life. What I've done, I've got the group of women together to string some shell money together because we're preparing for a uh, bright price. Uh, one of my um, nephew is getting married, so we're getting everybody together to work on this. Eh? I think the shell money will survive. It won't die off because it's not the, the, the thing with mo modern money. You you give it away and it goes for good. Huh? With the shell money, you give it to me and I give it back to you. So it's just to and fro most of the time. It's not running away from us. So that's how I see it. <laughs> My dream is to create the first traditional bank in Papua New Guinea. This traditional bank will formalize the use of our shell money. This has been our currency for thousands of years. Shell money is used for many customs. When someone dies, their wealth is distributed not only to the family, but to the whole community. The whipping of the Duktuk spirit is the family's contribution in shell money. traditional bank would really help the people. They could exchange shell money for cash to pay for things like school fees and taxes. The modern banks makes it almost impossible for people to borrow money, but my bank would provide small loans in shell money. 
I want the government to legislate, allowing us to set up a traditional bank. What I'm saying is we are banking tambo, shell money, instead of money. It's just that people are saying, no, it will not work. Somebody must tell me really why, is it, why it cannot work.